Hi, this is Eric with Kalo Services and HVAC School. And if I can get it in frame today, we're looking at this condenser. We've added buck and boost transformers in the boost configuration because our incoming power supply to these units is super, well, I shouldn't say super low. It's low and it gets lower in the afternoons, especially on hot days because of the utility company. So we're trying to mitigate motor failure issues. You've seen these units before, maybe not this specific one, where we rewired the condenser fans so if one fails, it doesn't necessarily take all the rest out. But we're trying to eliminate fan failures altogether, especially on these two fan condensers. Now that is how this condenser looked before. This is how it looked now. We moved the circuit board over and installed two transformers. Here's the schematic for the transformers. On the left is incoming power low voltage, on the right is high voltage. Let me show you what I mean by that. So here's our meter, here's our incoming power, line one to line three, 201. Line one to line two, 197. Two to three, 202. That's on our disconnect coming in. That goes into our transformers and it comes out on our terminal board top left. So now if you look at the meter again, we're gonna do one to two up there. You see we have 222 volts, two to three, 217, 221 from one to three. Now one thing I had to keep in mind in this unit is we have a control transformer. So this is still powered by low voltage side, my 208 side. So that's still 200 volts to our control transformer. So I get the right output because it's a 208 or 230 transformer and I did not want to try giving it 220 volts. I'm just giving it the same 208. So it's tied in on the low voltage side there. I still gotta make a note of what that schematic means down there, but everything is strapped up so it looks more or less factory. We've got the old wiring in there if it has to be reverted back because this just wired, this right here, just wired to there, and then over there to here on those smaller wires. So just to see the difference here, that's what it looked like before. This is what it looks like now. So we're gonna see if that makes these motors last longer. As you can see, they got quite a few of them at this site and they are quite expensive if you're not familiar with them. So we'll see how it does. Hope you enjoyed the video, learned something. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.